the diagonal seed stitch. Hi, I'm Kristen and welcome back to my channel, Studio Knit. This diagonal seed stitch knitting pattern is an easy texture. It has a stockinette background punctuated with these diagonal rows of the seed stitch. It's a six row repeat and an easy level project because it's a simple combination of just knits and pearls. And this is not a reversible pattern because you can see that the right side of our work displays the design of the diagonal seeds, but the wrong does not. It looks different than the front, the right side of our work. If you enjoy easy knit stitch patterns and would like to see more, please like up this video. It really helps me out and make sure to subscribe to Studio Knit. For your knitting materials, use any yarn that you would like with appropriately sized knitting needles, and of course, scissors and a tapestry needle. The written pattern can be found on my website totally for free. I'll have the link down below. It's also in my knit stitch pattern book. I have 50 different patterns here. This is in the six row repeat section. And you can see that I include a full color photo along with how many you need to cast on, a knitting chart, and written instructions to knit both flat and in the round. So let's knit it up. We are casting on multiple of six stitches. So put six stitches on your needle as many times as you would like. I'm just going to do it twice here. Row one is P1, K5. We're purling one, so our yarn is in the front, and we're purling the very first stitch of this pattern. Then bring your yarn to the back and knit five stitches. So the P1 and the K5 those are the multiples of six. Ah, I have some wool roving, so <laughs> sometimes it gets stuck on my needles. And after you do P1, K5, you're going to repeat the pattern between the asterisks. That's those little stars there in the written pattern. And you repeat it one more time or however many multiples of six you have on your needle. So that's row one. That's the right side of your work. And then turn your needle. Of course, I'm showing the example of knitting flat with straight needles. Row two is purling four. So again, we're beginning with the yarn in the front. And we're going to purl four stitches. One, two, three, and four right here. And then bring our yarn to the back so that you're knitting one. And then just finishing up by purling one. Again, this is that multiple of six stitches. So you continue to knit this pattern all the way down the row. So again, you do P4, K1, P1 until you get to the end. And here we have row three. We're starting with our yarn to the back because we're starting with knitting, knit two, knit one and two stitches, and then scooching my yarn, bringing it to the front, just purling that one little stitch, and finishing this pattern, K3, that's knitting three stitches. And continue this pattern of multiple of six all the way down the row. And we're halfway done already, and our little diagonal seeds are starting to appear. And here on row four, we're beginning with purl two. So we have our yarn in the front. We are purling two stitches, P2, bringing the yarn to the back so that we can knit one stitch, and then bringing our yarn to the front. This wool roving is a little weird to knit with sometimes. And purling three stitches. And that is our series of six stitches for this pattern on row four. And then just continue knitting this all the way down to the end of your row. And we're going to turn our needles and get to row five. 
We're almost there. We're beginning with K4. We are knitting four stitches. And as you've probably figured out, the P, the pearl one on the right side of our work on the front here, is what creates that seed stitch, that diagonal seed stitch. So that's why every single row is different than the next because that pearl stitch needs to appear diagonally all the way up the rows. And then we are going to turn our work after row five to finish up on the wrong side for this stitch pattern on row six. And this is an easy one. It is knitting one and purling five. So we just knit one stitch and purl five and continue this pattern of multiple of six until you've completed all of the stitches on your needle. So this is how our little swatch is knitting up with those six rows, and then it's a six row repeat. So you just start with row one again and knit it up until it's the length that you desire. I want to show you that because it's a stockinette stitch background, it does tend to curl up. So I like to use a little garter stitch border. Um, also, blocking your work can be really helpful. Let me show you here on the back how it just naturally wants to sort of curl up on itself because the majority of the stitches are stockinette. So just keep that in mind that you will have to work a little bit harder if you want it to lie perfectly flat on its own. I hope you are inspired to give this diagonal seed stitch a try. Again, the written pattern is totally for free on my website. It's also in my new knit stitch pattern book. Please check it out. It has 50 knit and purl super easy patterns for beginners. And I will see you here next time. Bye.